Guys, are you tired of big and bulky wallets? Well, this is my personal wallet. I think that's actually a little ridiculous. So if you're thinking about streamlining your wallet, you might wanna check out the M-Gear Gadget Wallet 3.0. Yes, this is a tactical wallet where it's totally customizable. It looks like this. You can see how thin it is compared to the wallet that I have right here. You can stick your debit cards, your credit cards in there, and it totally stays. And like I said, it's totally customizable. It has a belt loop on there, and you can also design it to where you can put your logo or superhero, super villain that you like. Yes, every wallet comes in its own specific tin, has a QR code in the back, and it comes with some cool little gadgets. You get this magnifying glass, you get this little ruler, it gives you some exercises to do. You know, it's pretty neat, it's different. So if you're looking for a totally customizable wallet and you want something solid, guys, check out the M-Gear Gadget Wallet 3.0. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below and you can get 10% off of your wallet by using the discount code CBC10. So again, guys, the M-Gear Gadget Wallet 3.0. Can the X-Men comics bounce back? That is a topic that I'm talking to you guys today. Fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Hopefully you guys enjoy this topic. I wanna pick your brains a little bit because I know a lot of people out there are just not happy with the current state of X-Men comics, myself included. I have stated my frustration when it comes to the X-Men. In fact, I currently hate the whole Krakoan thing and I just don't like the resurrection protocols. Now, when Jonathan Hickman first started writing the House of Ten and Powers of X comic books, it showed real promise. You could tell that he had a much larger story in mind, but as soon as he left you could see that things started to become disjointed in the X-Men universe. But when he first started out and wrote those initial stories, those were really good and it got people talking about the X-Men again, thinking that, oh wow, this is going to be a new generation, right? It got people all hyped and then it just fell apart. And it's so unfortunate. And I felt like they released way too many titles. You should have just had House of Ten, Powers of X, and then just release a main X-Men title and maybe an uncanny title. And that would have been absolutely fine. I think readers would have been happy, right? Now, if you currently are liking the current X-Men books, like Immortal X-Men, X-Men Red, uh, Marauders, you know, all the other ones that are currently out right now, let me know in the comments below. And if you do, that is totally awesome. I'm not judging you. That is great because you know what? We're all get into certain comics at certain points. I got into X-Men comics in the 90s, and you'll hear a lot of people say, wow, X-Men comics in the 90s and the late 80s were great. But then you get the older generation that will also say, well, Chris Claremont, Giant Size X-Men, that was the best, you know? It all depends when you start reading. That tends to be like your favorite time period. But Chris Claremont did write the X-Men for a very long time, so all his storytelling is very well done, whether it was the Phoenix Saga, the Dark Phoenix Saga, the introduction to uh, Mr. Sinister, Madeline Pryor, all those different characters. You could tell that when he was on that book, he had a vision and he just fleshed out all those characters. The problem is with the X-Men today is that we don't have anything at stake. There's nothing at stake. If the X-Men die, they come back to life a day later. In this current event that we have, we got to see a bunch of X-Men die. They get resurrected. Who cares? Like, there's nothing at stake. The other thing that I have an issue with with the current X-Men is Krakoa and the enemies that they have. You know, all mutants have come together. That was always the plan to mutants to kind of get along and see the same vision. But the problem is, is that all the characters that Chris Claremont has created over the years, the villains like Magneto, and again, Mr. Sinister, Sabretooth, uh, Destiny, you wind up getting to see all these different villains, just anybody in general at the top of your head, right? They're all 
living on Krakoa and they don't fight Cyclops, Jean Clit, Grey, Wolverine, all those characters. So you got to manufacture some cockamamie story, right? And it just does not work. At least that's for me anyway. I want to go back to those days where these X-Men fight these villains and create some other story, right? After Ten of Swords, that's when the books really started going south for me. I read that event. There were certain elements of that event that were a little wonky, right? But there were some elements that were good. But after that event, that's when things totally went south for me. So how can we get X-Men comics back, right? Well, the number one thing is we have to get rid of the resurrection protocols. If you want to keep Krakoa, maybe that's okay. But after Axe Judgment Day, maybe there's something that's in play here. Maybe there's plans, right? Of to get rid of resurrection protocols permanently. So there's stakes. It's just aggravating when you see a character that keeps coming back after they die multiple times. I'd rather not have resurrection protocol and not have the X-Men die like they did in the regular comic books. You just keep getting teased with your emotions. You're like, oh, Mystique is dead. Well, not really. Oh, wait, wait, she died again for the third time. It's just like, who cares? Remember when you first read House of X and Powers of Ten, when Jean Grey and Cyclops first got killed on that battle station that Nimrod was on, you were like, oh my God, they blew up, right? You were just like, whoa, your mind was freaking blown. But then they got resurrected and you're like, interesting, right? So the premise of it is interesting, but when they go to that well every time, it just doesn't mean anything anymore, right? So get rid of the resurrection protocol. Make the villains villains again. Get rid of the quiet console, no politics involved. Make them villains, make them go away. Have them verse Jean Grey, Cyclops, Wolverine, you know, all the different characters of the X-Men again. Make them mortal enemies. Make them not see eye to eye again, you know, just make them the way that they were. Will that ever happen again? I don't know. That's personally what I want. I would love to know what you would want from the X-Men, but I'm telling you right now, Marvel needs to take the time and capitalize on X-Men comics because once we get that movie teased, X-Men comics across the board are gonna blow up once again. Not only are speculators going to collect the giant size X-Men, the, the Dark Phoenix books, all the old school X stories, but new people in the hobby are gonna wanna try to get in to the X-Men line, but they're gonna wanna get entertained. And you know what? Some of the old readers are gonna look for new series as well, and they're gonna wanna get entertained. They're not gonna wanna deal with all the different X-Men titles. Scale it down. Have two, maybe three titles max. I say have X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, and be done with it. We don't need all the other titles. Shit, if you want to put in an X-Force title, go ahead and do that too. But we don't need all those X titles. Get good creative teams on the titles that they can really get a solid story behind, right? Get people invested into it. Don't make people buy 10 other titles and then drop off of it two, three issues later. Just get two good creative teams, two or three, and I think we could be set there, right? I am so curious to hear in the comments below if you guys are tired of these X-Men comics, what they need to do to improve, I would love to hear it. And what are you fed up with with the comic books from the X-Men in general? Now, I know a lot of you out there are probably thinking, well, that's just comics across the board. If you think that way, that's great. I am mostly entertained by every single comic. I try to look at the positive in every type of comic. But when it comes to the X-Men, this is something that they're just totally missing the boat on. This Krakoan age has been going on way too long and they need to get creative and do something different. So again, guys, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, like, hit the bell. If you love the content, guys, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And until next time, guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for taking the time and watching.